Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy, and guess what? Today we've got something special. It's tutorial 59, but before I go to the tutorial, let me tell you something. I've had a lot of people ask me how they can buy one of these boards. Well, unfortunately, they're not for sale because I had this made specially for my teaching purposes. And the guy who not only did this design, but made this whole grid, is my guest today. Welcome, Burton. Come in and be part of my little studio. Hi, Robin. <laughs> Good, to, Good. See you. Good to see you. <laughs> Tell us, Burton, uh, can you give us a little bit of your background and how you went about doing this? Well, I spent quite a few years in the sign business, mm -hmm. and I, which eventually went all um, electronic and went computerized. Mm -hmm. And I had a machine that cut vinyl, mm -hmm. just like this. And the whole grid is done in one piece. Mm -hmm. And I don't do it anymore because I'm retired, but mm -hmm. that's how I got that done. And if you want to get this, mm -hmm. you could go to a sign shop, and, and most sign shops can cut that vinyl for you. Or there's an even easier way. You just go down to the automotive um, supplies, supplies mm -hmm. and you can buy uh, vinyl tape that's various widths, you can get it any width. Mm -hmm. And you just line it up, make a dot, line it up, and, and you can make your own grid, and it's just as good, and it works really fine. Fantastic, So yeah. thank you very much. Uh, by the way, you're wearing you a like, Sudoku Guy t-shirt. You t -shirt. like my shirt? It's terrific. <laughs> yeah, well, That's if you sure. want to buy one of these, you can click on uh, underneath the video and get it for yourself. I just got one from a friend of mine in Melbourne, Australia. Anyway, thanks, Burton. Okay, Robin. Really appreciate you yep. coming along. Good okay. seeing you again. You bet. Fine. Thanks. Now let's get on to tutorial number fifty-nine. Don't go away. Here we go. Well, here we have four examples of what I mean uh, when I say a square within a block. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And in every case, each of them has three cells that are empty, either vertically or horizontally. Now, you may say, what's that got to do with getting new numbers and solving a puzzle? Hang tough. I'll be right back to show you these in a real puzzle. Well, here we are with a real puzzle where I want to show you the technique where, which is called a pattern of a square inside a block. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one down in here. Now I've designed this just to explain and show you how this technique works. Uh, you could probably solve this puzzle without even to use this technique, but it's just fun knowing an extra technique. You never know, you might need it. So let's first of all we'll take this block here, like all the other blocks, they've got three empty cells here, three empty cells in the other direction. And the key, and this is important to remember, that those numbers, one, two, three, and eight, must occur there across there and must occur down here. That's that's very important. Now let's take the numbers across here. We've got a 1, 2, and an 8 already, so the only number left is a 3. So let's put that 3 in. Okay, now that you've got, now that you've got all the numbers there, well, let's look at the numbers that we need down in here. Down here we need um, 1, 2, 3, and 8 in this section, from here down to here in this column. We've already got a 1 and a 3, and there's a, what's left. The 2 and the 8 have to be in here somewhere. There's an 8 there, so this has to be a 2. And therefore, this will become an 8. So we've solved that one. Now, the unique thing about this is this. We can now, because we've got all those numbers, work out what these are. Well, very quickly, I think it's a 7 and a 6 and a 9. Well, here's the 7. This is obvious. There's a 7 here, 7 here, 7 there. We can put the 7 in. Um, now, 
seven, six, and nine. Here's a six, and there's a seven, so this has to be the nine. And therefore, this must be the six. Now, what has that done? That has left us, for as far as this block is concerned, with only two left. And we know that there's only two left. It's a matching pair. And the numbers have to be uh, somewhere across here. Well, we, we've used up the one, two, and eight, so the four and the five are uh, the ones that are left. They have to go in there. Now, I could write them in little four, little five in each, but there's a five right there, so we know straight away that that's going to be a four and that's going to be a five. Now, let's look at the ramifications of that. Boy, we've got a lot done just in that little time. We've got a four, four, this must be a four, and a five, five, they're all done. Now we've got a 9 in here, didn't we? We have a 9. Um, ooh. No, there's no other 9s. So leave it. Uh, 6, yeah, that works. Fine. So we've just done that group there, which is neat, because you've only got two left in that row for one thing. Now let's go on to this. So 3, 4, 6, and 7. The 3, 4, 6, and 7 have to be along here in that row. Can't be in here. So the 4 and the 6 and the 7 is there and this bit, this extra one must be a 3. That's a 3 again. Way to go. Now that you've got that we can work out pretty well what goes in here. Well the only two numbers left is a 5 and a 9. Now instead of putting 5, 9, 5, 9 in Look around. Here's a 5 down here. So this has to be the 9. And therefore, this has to be the 5. Now, we've only got 2 left in this section now. The 2 has to be one, 2 of these numbers along here that are no longer in the block. And it is a, a 1 and an 8. So we can put a, a 1 and an 8. I'm looking across here. Can that help us at all? One, no, it can't. So we'll put one and eight there, one and eight there. We'll see what happens from there. Now, what are the ramifications of these new numbers? Let's look. Two, 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 that's correct. Uh, five, 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 that's correct. Self-checking here. Nine, nine now. Well, this has to be a nine because we can't have a nine down there. Now we're getting somewhere. What about this four? Four, 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 four could go there. Didn't see that before. That was a pun. <laughs> um, now that we've got this block almost completed, what number is missing? Um, it has to be a three. We have a three, three, three using LCR. So that's two blocks we've done. Now let's look at this block over here. In this block we have a little square in the block of one, two, four and six. Now, 1, 2, 4, and 6 must be along this row and must be up in this column. So let's do the row first. We've got 1, 2, 4, and 6 already. We don't have to do anything. It's all done. Whoopee! Um, what about now in this area? We have 1, 2, 4, and 6. We've got 1. Uh, we don't have a 1. 2, 4, 6. Well, now. We can't have a 1 there because there's a 1 there. The only place a 1 can go is there. And that's neat because the ramification of that is that this becomes, okay, let me just show you what I mean. That cancels out this one, so this becomes an 8, and this becomes a 1. Whoopee, things are really happening. Look at the numbers we get just as a result of using this particular technique. Now, um, We've pretty well done most of this, what I wanted to show you, other than the fact that we could work out what's in here and what's in here. This we know for sure is all filled up, so we just do a, a counting through there. And there's a three there. That's a three. There's a three, eight, three, eight and a nine. Well, here's a three, eight. Here's a nine. Okay. Uh, here's... Uh, Three, three, three. Well, here looking, we're using T, uh, LCR, left, right, center. That has to be a three. And the only one left is an eight. Now we have two left in here. 
it's going to be a matching pair. And it's made up of numbers that are along here that are, not, no, that are left. And then I look at this and I see a 5 and a 7. Instead of me writing in 5757, five, seven, we look around. Here is a 7. So that means that this is a 5 and that is a 7. Now look at all the numbers that we have been able to solve with ramifications as well, just by using that little technique that I explained. Um, have fun when you're looking for, for these puzzles. Sometimes you, you don't need to uh, use it because you could solve the whole puzzle and then without having to use that technique. But the times may come when you'd be handy to know this technique. Now, this is so easy now, you could finish off the puzzle yourself. I just wanted to say before uh, I leave the tutorial, thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed. And when you've subscribed, you've clicked the bell on the right, which means you get some notification from me when I'm about to upload something new or put something on the community channel. So that's it for today. Bye for now.